My name is Rayrox, and I'm here doing another YouTube video. This one, we're going to fix a bait casting reel. And I just took the spool out. Nah. So in this reel, I have a temporary spring. I believe it's on this side. I ain't really sure. Well, all I did was use a pen spring, since these ones are too big. And I just stretched it out with a screw or something. Okay, let's start taking this apart. Now you need a little uh, wrench. Just reading it. I think the 10 on it means like size 10 maybe. Oh, wrong way. Won't need this till you fix it. So I haven't propped this one yet. I don't think I will this video or anything. <sighs> what I am gonna do is take it apart and tell you things you can do with it. If I get to that part. Okay, screwdriver again. I normally use flathead. It's a star. But I like to use flatheads better. You have a chance of losing the spring, so be careful. Careful where you put them, careful handling them. They are very springy. That is the truth, by the way. Sometimes it takes a while to get a, a screw out. We have that first screw that you saw. Uh, this one, oh, took the magnet off. So this one is for like a tripod or something. Okay, now you'll need to use your flathead or get a flathead and take this apart carefully. Not my first time doing this. Nah, I don't need that. So this is the temporary spring. Yeah, focus. It's just a uh, pen spring. This one, it comes with it. Okay, so this is a ball bearing. Don't lose this either. So say you had a loose spring, like I did, whoops, like I do now, okay, all you do is just, I wouldn't recommend ordering it unless you know the size you need, all I did was take this screw, focus, Okay, that's the best I'll do. And this spring. And screw the screw onto the spring to make it wider. And then take like clippers or something. No, I'll try to find mine. Ah, over here. I took these. 
wire clippers or whatever they are. And I start my ear was itchy and they just clipped them. That's all I did. If you need a proper video, whoops, on making stuff like this or fixing stuff like this, you could just comment on my videos and I'll make one. But if you need one, and there goes my phone buzzing, if you don't need one of those videos and you got enough from this video, then I guess you don't need to comment. Oh yeah, so what this does is switches the way you... Oh my god, phone. It switches the way you reel. If it's this way, I think this white bit is ceramic. You put that facing up if you want to reel this way. And put it facing down if you want to reel the other way. I'm putting it facing up. So you can put the ball bearing back on. It ain't supposed to fit all the way on here. See? I'm not going to. Um Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what this peg here is for. Not quite just yet. I think it's for the tension of the spinning. This here is a star drag. It controls your drag just like a spinning reel. This one I might just use for parts. Uh, if you guys seen me do a spin cast video, that seems to be my most popular reel fixing video. There it's the most popular I guess. I got this. Three kinds of reels that I could fix. Might have to buy me another trophy just to put other reels on it. I ain't sure what other reels I'd be fixing though. So this gear here, I like to call it the main gear. It controls this gear here, which spins this. See? I'm not sure why there's holes in here. I guess for a line, that's what I use it for. Okay, let's put this back on. And I'll tell you guys about the spool, or how to take the spool out, or show you, or something like that. Oh yeah, the, this peg goes into this hole. Look, that peg, to this hole. Sorry, it's not very focused right now. It's an S5 phone. It's gonna take a while. Come on. Should just click right on. Ah, there. Almost. There, now it's on. I need a light. I'm using my light that's over here, my ring light. Oh, it's getting kind of hot right now. Uh, screws will push out the cover, so you got to be careful with that. Let's just put one screw in for now, so I can talk to you guys about the, or taking the spool out to change it or anything. I 
as you guys noticed my new background has a ruler has a spot for the screws and chalk okay to take this spool out some bait casting reels or I think all of them you twist and pull this one's an insecure way or I think it's called that this one is more a secure it's also Japanese it has this that's how to take it off it's a different hand as well I'm not going to take this spool off unless I take all the line off it's pretty much the same way Oh, forgot the handle wasn't on I was just gonna go like that reel in the thing but nope apparently not Okay, gonna put this back together now. Thank you for watching my info video if you got this far. Focusing on the background. Maybe I'll erase all this. It's easy, just this wet paper towel. Here it says what kinds of line, and here is the gear ratio. Uh, it's a 10 and 1 bearing. Oh, that one's lost. Oh, look at that fly tying material. That's gone. Then you put this on. This one would be a little curved. I don't know if it's the way it came or I curved it or something. But either way, I like to put it on first. Okay, and then you need this. This is what controls the star drag. Okay, next you put the star drag on. Kinda hard to do so. You spin it left to put it on. And then to get it to click, if yours does, you hold where the handle would go and then just spin. Or hold the spool and spin. Just like that. Then you put this little item on it. Get more light. Oop. There. And then the handle. Okay. Then comes the tricky part. I like to pull, put this bolt on first. I think... I'm just no I'm just gonna call this a one way bolt. Just for fun, and it looks like one. If that's even a thing. This also spins left to put on. Okay, then let's put this on. Next, you would need this again. And that didn't work. If it's like this, you gotta redo it. Actually, I think I have an idea. Well, give me my uh, wrench back. Oh, don't want to drop it. Just put it on like this. There. Just like so. Uh, 
I have magnets that hold my tools for me. I find it quite helpful. Okay, then you need this screw. Bring it up close to the camera so you can see. Uh, oh, I think you can get it focused like that. No, you cannot. Or at least I can't. Oh, I forgot to put the screwdriver away, but oh well, at least it's there. Now, that's, uh, now that that is on, I can put this away now. There you go. Could tighten, oh, wrong way. Could tighten this up. Have more tension here. See, it doesn't spin very well like this. But if you loosen it up, yeah, I think it's more of tension. And just take spool out. This is how you can change the spool. Not sure what these magnets are for. I think it's for this. Sorry if you find that annoying, good thing I stopped. Oh yeah, two ball bearings in a spool. One down here. Come on, focus there. And one right here. Okay. Ooh, 16 minutes already. And then you put it on. It has to be a certain angle. And then you just click. Okay, that was the information of a bait casting reel. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please share. And I will see you all later. Bye.